Welcome, I'm Tammy Irwin, CEO of Verizon Business. On December 3rd of last year, we told the world that together, Verizon and AWS had joined forces to bring the power of the world's leading cloud closer to mobile and connected devices at the edge of Verizon's 5G ultra wideband network. Built on millimeter wave spectrum, our 5G is designed from the ground up to support transformative experiences that will improve how we all live, work, and play. Here's why that matters. Verizon's 5G network enables peak throughputs that are at least 10 times faster than 4G, up to 10 gigabits per second. It provides robust bandwidth, handling data volumes that are 100 times larger, and delivers ultra low latencies which is the time it takes for a signal to get from point A to point B. Not to mention the ability to connect over a million devices per square kilometer. And that's why we're excited to share that today we're bringing AWS Wavelength to the edge of our network, unlocking the power of 5G Edge and Mobile Edge Compute for you, developers around the world, to build and innovate entirely new categories of applications. Consider this your new sandbox to explore what's next. To share more about our partnership and the work we've done since December, I'd like to introduce Matt Garman, Vice President, AWS Worldwide Sales and Marketing. Matt. Glad to be here, Tammy, to talk about a topic that our teams and customers have been very engaged in, the potential of 5G for a new generation of applications built to take advantage of ultra low latency, high bandwidth, and the ubiquitous network connectivity of 5G. Customers are intrigued by the promise of 5G, but they're looking for guidance on how this technology will impact their applications. And really, here's the problem that people face. To take advantage of 5G capabilities, your application and devices often need a meaningful amount of compute and storage, and sometimes even databases, analytics capabilities, and machine learning. Now, in order to execute on these applications, customers today usually connect to the cloud and AWS. But if you're accessing your application from a mobile device, that device has to cross multiple network hops to get from the mobile network to the internet. It has to go from the device to the cell tower, then through metro aggregation sites, regional aggregation sites, and finally to the internet and to AWS. Now, a lot of the most exciting potential 5G applications, like machine learning inference at the edge, or automotive industry equipment, smart cars and smart cities, IoT and augmented virtual reality, often can't afford the latency that's associated with that round trip from the mobile edge all the way to the cloud. Now our customers want fewer hops, and really what they want is for their latency sensitive portions of their application to be located as close to the 5G towers or edge as possible. And they want to build and manage their edge applications in the exact same way with the same tools, same control plane and APIs that they use for the rest of their application that works in AWS. Now this is a hard problem and one that we started collaborating on with our partners at Verizon about two years ago. We came up with a solution that we announced at our AWS reInvent conference last December where we announced AWS Wavelength. Wavelength is a new AWS service that lets you build applications that delivers millisecond latency to mobile devices and users using AWS compute, storage, all at the edge of the 5G network. Today, I'm excited to announce AWS Wavelength is now generally available in Boston and the San Francisco Bay Area. AWS Wavelength extends AWS infrastructure to 5G networks by embedding AWS infrastructure deployments in the telco provider's data centers so that traffic can reach application servers running in these wavelength zones without ever leaving the 5G mobile network. This eliminates the latency that would result from multiple hops to the internet 
and helps developers start to really unlock the potential of 5G for their applications. Starting today, customers can deploy the latency-sensitive portions of their applications in a wavelength zone at the edge of the Verizon 5G network in both Boston and the Bay Area in California, and then seamlessly connect the portions of their application that are running at the edge to the rest of their application and the full breadth of services that they have running in AWS. Developers can use the same familiar AWS services, APIs, tools, and functionality that they use today. Verizon is by far the leader in 5G in the US, and we're very excited to bring Wavelength to these first two Verizon locations, with more on the way. Thanks, Matt. It's an exciting time indeed. There's never been a more critical time for mobility, broadband, and cloud, and for creating the 21st century infrastructure that will shape our future. Think about how the past few months have dramatically changed our lives and how quickly we've accelerated the shift to digital. For example, how we practice healthcare. We're never going to sit in a doctor's office sick again. Or education, where remote learning will soon be the norm and not the exception. Or how we consume content, entertainment, sports and gaming, being fully immersed in experiences rather than simply just spectating. As the first company in the world to commercially launch 5G, we stand with you at the edge of a new era. Welcome to 5G Mobile Edge Compute. Beginning today, Verizon is the first company in the world to offer 5G Mobile Edge Compute live with AWS Wavelength in network locations in the Meds to Eds community of Boston and in the epicenter of tech innovation, the Bay Area. And we're not done. We've committed to launching eight more cities by the end of 2020. Now, of course, the most important part of today's announcement is the potential we're unlocking with this platform. Several of our incredible partners have been testing the new service to build applications that will transform industries ranging from healthcare to sports. So instead of telling you about it, let me show you. Let's take a look at what they've been up to. Hi, my name is Davian Ross, and I'm one of the founders and president of DD Sports, and our basketball product is called Shot Tracker. Shot Tracker is a sensor-based technology that tracks statistics and analytics, providing real-time data to coaches, broadcast partners, fans, and players, all with sub-second latency. Basketball is constant activity up and down. Latency is so, so, so critical. One thing that we're doing that's really exciting is demoing our shot tracker technology over Verizon 5G and AWS Wavelength. This allows us to see the delta between the traditional process, which is 4G, and this accelerated amplified process that utilizes both 5G and Mac. You can distinctly see the difference in the speed of ball movement. When I think about what 5G and edge computing can do, I think about coaches. I think about them getting access to this video and data anywhere in the facility. It may be in the locker room at halftime or sitting on the bench during the game, all delivered in real time. When you think about being able to take this data and incorporate it into the broadcast, latency is even more important. We're really excited about what 5G and MEC will provide to the market. We've been waiting on this for so long, and the time is now. It's finally here. And it will revolutionize the fan experience, the viewing experience, and how we consume data and sports for the rest of our lives. Hi, I'm Raj Nair. I am the co-founder, chief scientist, and acting CEO of Avesha Systems. We build a platform for accelerating edge applications. The trial we're doing with Verizon and AWS is about using AI to help endoscopists more accurately detect polyps in real time. I'm Dr. Shannon Scholl. I'm a gastroenterologist in Raleigh, North Carolina, and a physician owner in Raleigh Endoscopy Center. One of the problems that gastroenterologists like myself face is finding these very subtle polyps. The purpose of this trial is to use 5G, AI, and the edge to put another set of eyes on that. 
Colonoscopy moves very, very fast, and I really need a computer program to keep up with me. I can't wait two to three seconds. So the really vital thing about this technology is the speed. It works by taking the video feed from the scope, sending it through the 5G network to the wavelength node, where the AI model is trained for identifying different types of polyps. And the results are then sent back in real time to the monitor of the practitioner. So what you're seeing here is the actual high def monitor that I'm looking at during a colonoscopy procedure. And the neat thing about this program is that it's drawing bounding boxes around this polyp in real time. And they really draw my attention to this sort of pale, flat polyp that's trying to blend into the background. Might not have otherwise seen this. The system, if it is not fast enough, will actually miss drawing boxes around the polyps in real time. And that's why you need Verizon's 5G and AWS wavelength to give you that low latency. The thing that really excites me about this technology is that I think it's going to be really important in the prevention of colon cancer. It improves accuracy in patient outcomes. It's going to be the standard of care, and it's going to be accessible to everyone. And that's good medicine. Hi, I'm Shanky Vishwanathan, CTO for Communication, Media and Information Services at Tata Consultancy Services, TCS. We are developing a lot of innovative solutions around Smart Factory, which necessitates high bandwidth, high reliability, and low latency requirements for a connected digital ecosystem within the shop flow. Let me take a particular use case within the industrial manufacturing setup, which is called end-of-line quality control. Traditional approaches have been either manual quality controls or very localized edge systems doing visual analytics. In this pilot, with Verizon and AWS, high-resolution cameras take video and stock images of the objects passing through the production line. These are shipped through Verizon 5G to the MEC, where an Amazon Wavelength Edge Compute Zone correlates these images with stock images of what it has to be. Any deviation in quality immediately gets triggered as an aberration, and remedial action is initiated back to the production line controller or to a supervisor as appropriate. This entire connected ecosystem of high resolution cameras, the visual analytics ecosystems which operate out of these images, and the low latency response that is needed for remedial action, all of this has to happen near real time, which is exactly where Verizon's 5G, AWS's wavelength, and our solutions come into play. The trial results out of this use case really illustrates how we can harmoniously bring multiple technologies to bear with 5G and edge compute together. Those are just a few of the exciting stories that we're hearing from our customers as they combine AWS services with the advantage of 5G. We're seeing customers use Wavelength to support emerging interactive applications like game streaming, augmented reality, or virtual reality, IoT, and machine learning inference at the edge. Now this is just the beginning, and we can't wait to see what exciting new ideas our customers come up with to leverage this new technology. And coming soon, we're excited to extend these benefits to even more people as we launch additional locations around the US with Verizon and with other partners and geographies around the world. Matt, you are absolutely right. We're sitting on the cusp of the next industrial revolution and have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to completely reimagine the future. Take a moment and let that sink in. I'd like to thank Matt and the team at AWS. I'd also like to thank the incredible people at Verizon who have worked so hard to bring 5G Edge to market and to provide the tools to make this possible. We hope that you are all as excited as we are about the possibilities of what you can do with Mobile Edge Compute, powered by Verizon and AWS. There's no doubt you'll have unprecedented opportunities to build truly transformative solutions. And there's never been a more important time in our world to innovate and to build a future that's inclusive and accessible to all. And now I'm excited to encourage you to stay on for a special deep dive session where team members from Verizon and AWS will cover the technical details of AWS Wavelength and Verizon 5G Edge, 
and answer your questions directly. Enjoy learning more about how we can change the world together. Be well. It doesn't happen often. Maybe only once in a lifetime. The exact right technology appears in the exact right place at the exact right time. Technology that makes possible what felt impossible only moments ago. Massive computing power now comes right to the edge. Where it works best, where it's needed most. We're at the beginning, where ambition has never been higher, the challenges never greater, the opportunities more amazing. This is 5G Edge, the world's first mobile edge computing platform with AWS Wavelength. It's here, it's ready, and now it's up to you.